In this short tutorial, I'm just going to explain Canvas project settings and how you can change settings on a project level basis. So once you save it and you come back, if you made any changes to those project settings, those settings will stay and be unique for that project, whereas other projects may have their own settings as well. So the way you get to project settings, it's up here at this toolbar. You click this gear icon, and then we bring up the Canvas settings window here. And these are the things that you can change on a project level for the canvas. You can set the currency and language. These are just labels for now. So if you change the currency, it's not doing any kind of currency conversions or anything like that. Um, it can just show it in a different currency or different symbol next to the numbers. And then uh, language as well. We currently don't support a lot of other languages. We eventually plan to, so you'll be able to use that. But here's an important one, simulation. So you see this setting where you can simulate on or off and you'll notice when you do that something else pops up so i'm going to explain what that is so if you want to just build a beautiful let's say marketing funnel diagram with giru you can do so without having to enter in any of the individual object settings none of the numbers or conversion rates or product names and details none of that you can just drag objects connect them to build a visual map and then there won't be calculations, there won't be numbers that show up, like under the Y path where you see the 50%, like over here, you can kind of see in the background, that's on the opt-in page, because that's the opt-in rate, 50%. Well, that'll go away. So if you turn off simulation, none of the numbers show up. It's just a nice diagram without any of the numbers. And of course, the calculations won't be working either. If you set simulation to no, you'll see another option that pops up that says show Y and N, yes, or you can turn this to no. This is referring to the green and red little yes, no pathway circles that you see. Like right here, you can see here's the, the Y and here's the N that are shown on each object. So those clearly show the flow that you're building. Yes, so behaviorally, people that take the action of an object move on to the next. But if you want, you can turn those off so it's just the objects connected by lines and you don't see the yes and no paths. So that's another option if you wish to do that. Some people have certain applications where they would want to create a diagram chart without any of the yes and no and just show the simple connecting lines. So you have that option to do that. And so if you want to just build a nice diagram of a marketing funnel with none of the numbers and you don't want to do the calculations and because that takes a little more time to enter those settings, then you don't have to, you just turn simulation off. Let's turn it back on. Now we have theme color. This just means the default color of the objects that you drag onto the canvas. If you're working for a client, let's say, and you're building a diagram for them, and maybe their logo is purple, you could set this to purple. So every object you put on the canvas is purple, and it relates like to their, you know, kind of corporate colors. But that's just a default for whatever color an object will be when you add it to the canvas. You can always click on an object specifically and change the color for that one object. So you can use some blue, some red, some green. It's up to you. By default, this little example model I've built that I'm demonstrating for you in these videos is just all blue just to keep it simple. But you could change each of those objects if you wanted inside each of their settings. Just click the object, click options, and change the color. But on a canvas project settings level, whatever you set this theme color to is what each one of those objects you drag on from the menu will at least what color they'll start out with. Now below this, you have a merchant account fee setting. We by default put this on Stripe's rates because so many people use Stripe now. So it's a 2.9% processing rate plus 30 cents per transaction. And so whatever you set for these fees, Giro, of course, will automatically calculate them for you based on all the different product sales, product prices, everything that you build inside a Giro project. Uh, Giro is smart and knows to do all those calculations for you and then, of course, show you those numbers and reports and the summary and everything else. But that's it. Then you just click Save. That's how you, you set the Canvas level settings. It's pretty much just for those few settings that I showed you. But that's how you can change them on a per project basis if you wish to change any of those things.